What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to talk about if Captain Marvel beat or defeated trolls. So I want to talk a little bit about what has been happening with Captain Marvel, and really the main storyline, I think, of the past couple days. Now I'm recording this a day before the video actually goes up, but really the conversation of Sunday and Monday has been the box office numbers of Captain Marvel. I'm going to be talking more about that in a video tomorrow, talking about where I think the movie's going to reach box office-wise. But, you know, one of the main things that came out is how it really defeated all the trolls and that the trolling didn't work of Captain Marvel and the movie made so much money um, with, you know, with all the negativity talked about. And I just wanted to address that really quickly in that, you know, did it defeat the trolls? You know, I don't think that's even a, a proper thing to even say. There was more behind this movie than there should have been. And all this trolling, yeah, you can call it trolling if you want. There was some, okay? It's, it's, it's not that there was zero trolling going on, but at the same time, there were a lot of dirty tactics and a lot of really weird things done um, around Captain Marvel. There were the things Brie Larson said, which, again, we can debate uh, time and time again the, the actual quotes of what she said and did she mean them and that she eventually kind of took them back but really didn't. She said a lot of things, and there was a lot of controversy going in to Captain Marvel, especially around her. There was a lot of things just talked about the movie in general. There were some people that just generally said that the movie didn't look interesting. I was one of those people. I thought the movie looked pretty average before anything was talked about of the film. Then we got closer to the film. We got things that happened with Fandango where they only let people buy Captain Marvel tickets. We had Rotten Tomatoes where uh, people, you know, constantly were in a way they were trolling it, but also in a way, um, one of the main things that people were doing it was just saying the interest level in watching Captain Marvel and that number went so low that Rotten Tomatoes has now disabled that feature going forward. So that's not trolling. That's just giving their opinion on a movie that's not out yet. That's really one of the only things you can, not the only thing, but one of the only things you could do um, is say your interest level on the and that for that specific number, that's all it was. So you can't really uh, blame people. You can't really call that trolling at all. The 50,000 reviews that were deleted, you know, were some of those trolls? Considering the massive amount of number that that number was and considering if you compare that to something like Infinity War, yes. Yeah, some of those probably were people that did not see the movie. And in that case, you know, I don't, I think you're able to talk about aspects of something if you haven't experienced it. So if you haven't seen Captain Marvel, I think you can still talk about it, but necessarily reviewing it, can you actually review the movie? No. However, were all of those 50,000 uh, people or bots or whatever people are calling them, were they all fake? No. I 100% no, uh, think no. And it's just weird that there were all the negative comments that were deleted as well. So there, basically what I'm saying, there were a lot of things around Captain Marvel. This is a, one of the, the craziest and something that I just don't think Marvel wants. I, I hope that they don't want to see this for future films. It was rumored that cast members were getting mad at Brie Larson because of all of the controversy. And you know what? If I'm a cast member of the Avengers or you know if I'm Elizabeth Olsen or if I'm even Robert Downey Jr. or whatever, if I'm a male or female, I'm probably getting mad at this because up until this point, even with Black Panther, you know, last year, the main story with Black Panther was basically that it was a good film, but people were saying it was the greatest film ever made. It was so diverse, even though 95% of the people were the same race, so I don't know how that's diverse. Um, but, you know, that was like the main thing talked about. But going up to that movie, there was next to nothing. The cast, they said nothing. You know, it just came and went, and we were all okay with it. It made a lot of money. You know what? Good for that movie. It was a good movie. I liked that movie a lot. I thought it was very good. Um, Captain Marvel, I didn't think it was very good. So, you know, there's differences, and this is the first time that all of this stuff, we get Brie Larson with all of her comments, we get all of these trolls, or maybe they're not trolls, we get Ron Tomatoes, we get Fandango, we get all of these things um, being done around Captain Marvel, and it's like, do you want that going forward? Is that going to happen for Endgame because she's in it, or just because of any other reason? What's the future look like? What does Captain Marvel 2 look like? Like, what does a Black Widow movie look like? What you know, not even not even just female-led movies. What does the future of Marvel look 
like. You do not want to repeat this again. So the question of did Captain Marvel defeat the trolls, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I guess because it made a lot of money if that's an angle you want to look at it. But I'm looking at it at a bigger picture. I'm looking at it that there was a lot going on with this movie. This movie had negatives. You can criticize this movie and not be a, a Russian bot or a fake or whatever. You can criticize this movie and, you know, and you can just move. Or you could also, I should also point this out, you could also like this movie. That's allowed. That's, that's you know, that's a thing that you can do. But you're also allowed to not like the movie and you're allowed to voice why you liked it, but you're also allowed to voice why you didn't like it. And I think a lot of people, and I do mean a lot, uh, forget about the voicing your negative opinion. It's okay to do that. Is it okay to attack people? No, but we got the same thing with Star Wars as well. Star Wars Episode Eight came out. It's okay to dislike the movie. That doesn't make you not a Star Wars fan. It doesn't make you a Russian bot. It just makes you someone who thought that movie sucked like we did. We thought The Last Jedi was absolutely awful. We love Star Wars. Star Wars is one of the most special things on this planet to me. It truly is. You could ask anybody that knows me. But that doesn't mean I'm not allowed to say negative things. Same thing here. So going forward, the bigger picture is no. These trolls, quote unquote, haven't been destroyed, haven't been defeated. The negativity and the, the kind of two-sidedness of people liking and disliking, that'll never go away. You're going to get that with these future movies. You maybe even made it worse going forward. Yeah, it made a lot of money. Good for Captain Marvel. That's fine. I, I've been saying all along, I think this movie's going to make a lot of money. Does it make uh, YouTube channels and just people in general that said that this movie was going to absolutely fail, does it make them look bad? Yeah, probably, because this movie isn't doing bad at all. It's going to do very, very well. But for those who said, you know, there's a lot of problems with this movie. I don't like what Brie Larson said. You know, there's a lot of negativity and what's going on with Rotten Tomatoes and what's going on with Fandango. Oh, but the movie is still going to make a, a decent amount of money because it's a Marvel movie. It's going to make a lot of money. You know, those people can still talk about what they were talking about. And going forward, we're in a very interesting space because this is not going to go away. These things are not going to go away. Um, in general, they're not going to go away. Uh, for, for Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel 2, uh, Marvel, not just that, in, not just Marvel, but we're also looking at a really big film coming out in uh, around Christmas time, which is Star Wars Episode Nine, and that is going to have, I think, uh, identical problems, maybe even bigger problems, but not necessarily the controversy of what the cast said. That'll be more controversy of did they actually like Episode Eight? Did they like Ryan Johnson? Things like that. But you know, uh, yes, this title is is a way of me kind of introducing these other things I want to talk about. It's all very very interesting. I know this movie made a lot of money. That's giving a lot of people reason to say it's or not really reason, it's giving them excuses to say uh, that it did well uh, against all odds, basically. And it's like, against what odds? Against, you know, they it hurt itself. It maybe would have probably even done better. I think it's doing amazing, okay? It's doing a lot of money. It's going to make a lot of money. I think it probably would have done even better if it didn't upset so many people. That's just my opinion. That's what I think uh, probably would have happened if a lot of people would have just kept their mouths shut, if websites would have just went on as planned instead of changed their algorithms. And, and that's another thing. YouTube also changed changing its algorithm. Absolute joke. They are now hiding things basically like they've been doing um, for a lot, for many years now and now they're doing it basically just to censor opinions on things. Um, they're hiding it in, in the face of news. They're putting news uh, first and then opinion second. It makes no sense. It's another, it's a push for a lot of different things on YouTube. We can talk about that in a different video. A lot of this stuff just aggravating. It's just annoying. A lot of this stuff is just annoying. I want it to be done. I think Marvel probably wants it to be done. Disney he probably wants it to be done, um, but I think it's just going to continue. So, guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about all of this? What do you think about the trolls? What do you think about anything I said? What do you think about Captain Marvel? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel podcast now. Hit the bell icon so you guys are notified when all our videos go up. Or again, tomorrow we're going to be talking once again about Captain Marvel, and then we're done. I'm putting it behind me. Tyler's putting it behind him, and we're going to move on. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.